Over the past hundred years, the increase in human population has been three times greater than during the entire prior history of mankind. More natural resources have been extracted from the earth and more land converted for cities, agriculture and industry than ever before. On this warming planet, droughts seem to have changed their nature as well, increasing in duration, frequency and severity. Antes eh, la clima era mucho más mejor. Digamos, eh, la lluvia, lluvia normal. Our planet will suffer a global crisis, the most devastating one humankind has ever faced. Spain has been hit twice by extreme weather, a heat wave and the worst drought in decades. Environmental experts say weather is a small part of the problem. They blame years of government mismanagement for the man-made water crisis. How can we actively engage with the causes and adversities of droughts on a planet more radically altered by humans than ever before? What's causing droughts in the Anthropocene and how to confront the risks and challenges they bring? Ante años pasados se ha secado el lago, pescamos cuando hay el lago. No, antes era de este desaguadero, venía, pues. pero ahora hay ese regante que es ese ataja. Pues. Antes no había ese regante, ahí consume agua. Más o menos el mina guanón y que es. es Climate change, tin mining and upstream water diversion for industrial agriculture have caused an almost complete disappearance of Bolivia's second largest water body, Lake Popo, reducing it to about 2% of its original size. Junto a las nubes y a pocos kilómetros de La Paz, Se levanta el panorama idílico de Chacaltaya, la pista de esquí más alta del mundo. En varias investigaciones donde se daba un pronóstico de que el glaciar se iba a descongelar, pero muchos investigadores no pensaban que la degradación de los glaciares iba a ser muy rápido. Nosotros pensábamos que este cambio iba a ser quizás en unos 30 quizás 20 años, pero lastimosamente esto ocurrió en 10 años, muy rápido. Lastimosamente, nosotros que trabajamos acá, hemos visto este efecto. The snows of Kilimanjaro have almost disappeared. The land surrounding Africa's tallest mountain is severely deforested and barren, often grazed down to the naked soil. <laughs> In a desperate attempt to make ends meet, many of the once proud and well-adapted tribes of Kilimanjaro are now further increasing the degradation of their own environment. The expansion of farming fields by the Chaga people and the overgrazing of the Maasai pastoralists are turning the slopes of East Africa's greatest water tower more and more into infertile land. K 
Cape Town is running out of water. The worst drought on the record. The reservoir is down to just 10% of its capacity. It's not a fancy apocalypse movie landscape. It's now, and it's real. Day zero, the day Cape Town would run dry. In the 1920s and 1930s, the Western Cape, and Cape Town in particular, experienced a similar drought. But where then lived only a few thousand people, now there are 4.5 million. The country had two choices, ignore warnings, underinvest, and pretend that the rain will fall, or pull together before the taps run dry. Understanding risks and building capacities ahead of a crisis are key to reducing the effects of a drought. In response to this event, monitoring and analyzing oncoming droughts through remote sensing is now a core component of risk reduction. The coordination in national and provincial disaster risk management centers crucially connects various sectors and affected provinces. We as a country need to rethink how we are going to tackle the future in terms of dealing with drought because otherwise we will be in a state of disaster every second year if we do not change the way we, we plan. Where there is no water, there is no life. According to the United Nations, by 2030, almost half of humanity will be living in areas of high water stress. As long as our industries remain dependent on fossil fuels, the cutting of old growth forests continues and the global economic system still worships growth. Man-made droughts will continue to be one of the most threatening outcomes. We need system change, not climate change. The intensity, duration and spatial extent of droughts are increasing. In the last two years only, 25 countries have declared national emergency as a result of, of drought. Recent scientific evidence also suggests that droughts have a cascading, spiraling impact on other sectors. Uh, it's impl implicating also civil unrest, conflict and enforced migration. And we have to acknowledge that it's no longer nature that is driving global change, but it's humans. That's why we're talking of the Anthropocene as a new era in, in global change where nature has ceased to be nature. The variation in rainfall is just one aspect of drought. What makes it a disaster is the way how it affects, how it interferes with societies. We need to move from responding to crises toward being proactive and managing risks by using the latest technology in early warning systems for the dissemination of knowledge and alerts, coordinating across institutions, connecting all relevant sectors, understanding the implications of inaction for forced migration, security, and violent conflict, restoring ecological systems along with microclimatic conditions that rebuild water security while sequestering carbon in biomass and soil organic matter helping to restore the Earth's climate. Investing into sustainable forms of irrigation and water provision that is fair to everyone. Putting those living directly off the land at the center of our efforts. Creating a clear vision of what we need to do next to protecting the living planet that sustains us. Restarting our ability to imagine what a different future will need to be. Niki wona rokujita nera ni rokodola ibo ni adema wum aya abare pia wona rokujita mera ba yoro niki yoga dungo niki mena sara laga me yolo. Contamos con políticas públicas como el Plan Nacional de Cuencas, como el, el Plan de Atención a la Sequía que estamos desarrollando en los últimos en últimos meses. El mejor, la mejor herencia es el suelo y el agua para las futuras generaciones. ¿no? The, the threat is not so much the natural phenomenon, it is how we deal with it. In order to have environmental justice, you really need to look at the distribution of water. En eso estamos queriendo trabajar, queriendo mejorar ¿no? el tiempo y, y más que todo queremos eh, forestar. 
eso, ¿no? para recuperar ¿no? la vegetación. Y eso queremos hacer.